And then in August 2020, I woke up one day and was just like a being body snatched by the Grim Reaper. Essentially, when um, yeah, today's the day, I just want all the noise to end. And it wasn't like voices in my head or, and I wasn't having flashbacks or anything like that. My brain was just so busy and I just wanted the noise to go away. I wanted to go to sleep forever. So I took a huge overdose that night at midnight and throughout that day, I spent all day planning it, you know, with meticulous precision, like I was on a deliberate off at work. So I plan, like I Googled and the scary thing is there's websites out there where you can Google how to kill yourself, which is really scary. And I, I've figured out how many pills I'd need to kill myself outright. Um, I, and I was, this is how emotionally removed I was from myself and that none of this struck an emotion. So got my drugs, went back home, had dinner, um, wrote my suicide note, you know, to my family, my friends. And to me, suicide had always been the most selfish thing someone can do. Abs you know, I've, I've heard of people, I'd never up until that point known anyone had taken their own life, but I was like, it's a, a coward's way out. It's selfish. It leaves all those questions behind, a wake of questions. And, and there was me writing my own suicide note, not even with a tear in my eye. And um, I then tidied the apartment. I had a shower, got dressed, did my hair and makeup. Every, like, it was just such a weird day. It was like watching my life through a movie. And at midnight, sat on the edge of the bed and took 95 amitriptyline.